see new sharks right now. So is Saddam Hussein dead, or is he alive, or is he on the run, or is he in hiding, hiding in plain sight? Hal Eisner hit the street team to see how Saddam could become someone else. Have you seen this man? Take a good look. We'll get back to him. Now take a look at this one. You know him, just about everyone does. If he wasn't killed in the war, could he have had plastic surgery in some bunker? Could he be walking amongst us? Tonight, I asked Beverly Hills plastic surgeon Dr. Randall Digby Hayworth to take a shot at changing his face. A guy with a... Heavy neck, heavy jowls, long ears, wide, thick ethnic nose, eyebrows that are crowding his eyes. And, of course, that mustache. First, Hayworth refines his nose. Then... We do a facelift, neck lift, and we'll throw in some small cheek implants there, too. To change his look, the key is making him look younger. We have to also raise his characteristic signs of aging. He works on his eyes and eyebrows, tinkers with Saddam's large ears. With all the proper planning, sneaking out of here, going in there, he could have yes, you could done make, this sort of thing? You could, make a, you could change his face to the point where he's unrecognizable. And finally, by shaving off the mustache, he'll be able to blend seamlessly into society without anyone raising an eyebrow. A nose job, a facelift, the cheeks, the eyes, the brow, the ears, and finally, a shave. Have you seen this man? If Saddam is alive, Dr. Hayworth tells me if he had everything done to him that we just showed you, it would cost about thirty-five dollars or $40,000. Chump change for a guy like Saddam. Thank you.